So I'm sitting here editing and I just hear banging. It sounds like a construction zone in Savannah's office. What are you doing? I found the, the source of the sound. <laughs> Looks pretty good. <sighs> Rendering. So I'm editing this this wedding film and I figured I would give you three easy tips to help you start making videos and to help kind of make the whole process of making videos less intimidating. I apply this to weddings, is to vlogs, and to, to drum videos. All that to be said, I think whatever video you want to make, this this will help you. So the first thing that I do, and honestly depending on the video, really the only thing that I'll do is start with the song or start with the music that's going to lay the foundation of the theme or the feeling of, of the video. So for drums or drum videos, a lot of times that's the only step because that the, the audio is the highlight of what that video is. But for something like wedding videos, it's only one piece, a crucial piece, but still just one piece of, of the, the puzzle. So once I get the the audio track that I want to use like selected then I'm gonna start creating a custom score or a custom custom arrangement for that video all of this screen right here is my custom custom score so I made some chops and edits and then transitions all to fit this uh, this story and this can change depending on what direction your video is taking but in general I like to get just a general working uh, arrangement for for my video once I feel like the the audio set then this is going to really just depend on the type of video if you're doing if you're wanting to do like a YouTube type of video then you're gonna want to catch the audience's attention right away whether that be like just a funny clip of something that foreshadows what's going to happen in the vlog or honestly what a lot of times what I'll do is if I can't find something that will make like good foreshadowing piece, then I'll just grab something that doesn't fit, but I still want to put it in the video and I'll put that in the, the front. You just, you want to grab their attention. This video, I got some nice drone clips at the beginning to help engage the viewer and to help set the scene for the video. The, uh, the third and final tip is going to be the pace of the video. And that's something that you can only do by doing it more and more. As you're editing the video and crafting the video, it's important to go back and watch to see if the pace is consistent, fluid, and it doesn't feel like a bunch of random sections smashed together. Pace will help with that. I feel like I'm not explaining pace very well. So I'm gonna try to explain this from a drummer's perspective since I'm a, I'm a drummer. So when you think about a song or like drum grooves in a song, often when you're playing a verse groove, it'll change or open up or get bigger when you hit a chorus. That is a change of pace and that's basically to help move the song along and help keep you engaged. So if you played the same groove for the verse the entire song, in most songs that wouldn't work. Same thing for the bridge. That car has been on those blocks for like two months. I'm no car person, but I don't know if uh, if that's the normal maintenance time. Look at this car. So I have a talking head like this playing, and then I introduce some upbeat, fun music going on while I'm talking. That feels better, right? It feels like everything's kind of lighter and a little bit lighthearted. No matter what I say, it feels like it's a little less less serious. But then let's say I add some more dramatic, heavy, ambient music on there. It, it makes it change completely. Like now everything that I'm saying is less lighthearted and everything that I'm saying is more epic and it, you can feel the power behind my words. That's a, that's a change of change of pace and you can use that in videos to help evoke different motion, emotions and to help push the story to one direction or another. Hopefully that, uh, hopefully that makes sense. It's a lot harder to explain stuff like that just because you really just have to really just have to do it and do it often to, to truly understand it. If you want me to do more videos like this, let me know.